Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a quick review and demo. Hmm, I don't know how quick this demo is going to be because I went a little ham with these eyes, but nonetheless, we are talking about the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Now some real talk for you. When I first saw pictures of this palette, I was kind of like, me, I don't know how I feel about it because it was like a whole lot of purple and then I realized, no, calm down. The only reason why you're not like over the moon is because it's not a warm tone eyeshadow palette. Now how many warm tone eyeshadow palettes have I gotten recently? A lot. <laughs> I dare not count. I did just also pick up that NYX palette that was the fire one. It's another warm one. And I'm sorry you guys, I'm not going to have time to film that so ahead of time were you guys asking for it. Maybe, maybe sometime in the future, but I can't right now. I'm very sorry. Back to what we came here for. The Lila palette. Now when I saw swatches of this, I came back to reality and was like, uh, Mel, you need that. I don't know what the difference was between seeing the picture of it and seeing the swatches, but the swatches like did rung me straight in. And then we gotta talk about the quality. Natasha Nona's quality is just bar none. Like it's so amazing. These mattes, oh my god, I cannot wait to just put just the mattes on. I almost did that today and I was like, someone's gonna be real upset that I didn't use the metallic shades. So we came up with this. I had no idea what I was doing. But this is what I came up with, and I'm feeling it. I like this eye look. But if you love the mattes, oh my god, these cream, oh my god, they swatch just as well as they go on the eyes. This purple I put on with a blending brush. Not wet. Amazing. And for $129, this better be amazing. Yes, you heard me right. But I think that these are so worth it. People ask me all the time, Visart or Natasha Denona. Do not make me choose. I can't choose. I love them both. And I use her palettes every single time. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice just wants to go away. <laughs> but I use them every single time I have any kind of special occasion coming up. That is what I reach for. So let's go ahead and dive into this palette. You're getting 15 brand new shades. And I love that because a lot of times companies will throw in colors that you see in other palettes. Like they're the same exact thing. So I love that I'm getting 15 brand new shades. They come in creamy matte, metallic, duochrome, and chroma crystal. Now this palette does not have any of those like chunky glittery shades that some people love and then some people hate. So if you hated them, no worries. They are not in this palette. I got Got mine on sephora.com you can also get it on Natasha Denona's website as well as Beautylish and a few other places but I got mine on Sephora each of the shadows in here do have a ton of product in there so the $129 is a lot but honestly for the quality and the amount you're getting I've talked about it before I'm not gonna go too much into it but you're getting your money's worth if you love this palette. Now, if you don't like purple eyeshadows, don't get this palette because you're not going to use it. You're not gonna get your money's worth out of it. If you wanna see that palette really broken down to the nitty gritty, check out Stephanie Nicole. She does an amazing job. I will leave her down below. She really breaks apart palettes and tells you like cost per gram, everything. I'm just, I'm not that fancy. I just like putting them on my eyes. So that is what we're going to do right after I show you the swatches because I almost forgot. So let's get into this. The very first row. Oh my God, I can't believe I almost forgot those. So the first row, we've got Per Se, Viola, Amara, Cyclone, Nude, Vino. And then for the third row, we have Layla, Amethyst, Magnetic, Magnolia, Nude, Mauve, and then for the final row, we have Juno, Livid, Her Pure, Dragon Bite, and Helio. And I do want to say really quickly, I thought that Dragon Bite was going to be too much like, you know, like Mac Blue Brown. And it does kind of look like it's swatched. But on the eye, it looks different. Like it has a little bit more green in there than like the blue and has more per, I don't know. It is different because I was kind of like another blue brown color in there, but no, it's different. So we're good. Anywho, for real this time, we're going to go ahead and jump into this tutorial. 
I'm starting off with Nude Mauve on a MAC 217. I'm gonna start in the crease and then work this up as a transition shade. There's not a true transition shade in this palette, so by using it in the crease first and then slowly blending it up, I'm lightening the shade as I do that so it isn't too dark for my transition shade. With a MAC 221, I'm taking Dragon Bite, and I'm going to put this into the crease directly first, and start to slowly blend it upward. Same brush and Amara. I'm just gonna deepen up the crease area just a little bit more. I'm not really gonna bring this up like I did the last shade, just deepening up the crease. Magnolia on a MAC 242, and I'm going to pop this all over the lid. Viola on my MAC 221, I'm going to just pop this on the outer corner of the lid, and I'm not going to put a lot because I just want it to blend for when I put the purple sh shade down in this outer corner right here. Now I'm taking Amethyst on that same MAC 221. Just popping and placing it. I am getting a little bit of fallout with this, but it's okay. It's probably just gonna tap it away anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and take that halfway into the crease, so right here. Lower lash line, NARS contour. I'm first gonna take Nude Mauve. I'm just gonna bring that on this half corner, like this first half of the eye here. Then I'm going to take Amara on the outer half, where I meet up with the other shade. MAC 219 and Amethyst. Bringing it from the outer corner here and diffusing it in. I'm going to run a little bit of Magnetic right against the lash line. because I don't want to do liner, but I do want to add a little bit of this color. It's a MAC 263, and I think I'm going to dampen it and do it again. A little bit of Juno on this inner corner with a Wayne Goss number 20. All right, you guys, I finished up. I used Monsieur Big on my top lashes. I used MAC Extended Plate on the bottom. And then where's my lipstick? There we go. On my lips, I put on Jungle from Dior. Oh my God, talk. <laughs> I've been wearing this like crazy like I'm going to run out of it. It's ridiculous. I love this formula But anywho that is it for the tutorial. I love this palette I say if you love purples or if you need a cool toned eyeshadow palette to add to all the warm tones You've got this is a good one. Love her love the quality But anywho if you enjoyed this, please let me know by giving a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye guys